In the Fox 61 kitchen with friends from Puerto Vallarta restaurant group, we have Jacob Rodriguez, the president, and also bartender Luis Perez. Thanks so much for being with us. We're going to be doing a little bit of cooking or cold cooking, I guess you yeah, could yeah. say, right? But we're also really talking about the Day of the Dead because that's coming up tomorrow that you're celebrating. Exactly. Thank you so much for having us, Erica. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're going to be talking a little bit about Day of the Dead. So Day of the Dead is an event that is celebrated in Mexico. It's a two-day event, November 1st and November 2nd. November 1st, we celebrate Dia de los Angelitos which is day for the little angels and that we would commemorate all the deceased uh, children mm. and the second day we, we commemorate all the adults mm -hmm. all the deceased adults and so we, on those days we celebrate with uh, pan de muerto which is the bread of the dead to commemorate the cycle of life and you know the beginning of life and the end of life and they, they, we celebrate with the separate bread mm -hmm. right here. So this is the bread, it's very significant. Do you have this at the restaurant? We don't have it in the restaurant but we do bring it in for the November 1st, November 2nd. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. that's good to have. Yeah. And Luis, you're going to be putting together a ceviche, of course one of everybody, a lot, a lot of people are favorites, right? Yes, yes, it's a very popular choice. So the mini ceviche is one of our mm -hmm. things that we have on our uh, special menu. But uh, to start off with the ceviche, we start off tilapia, right? Tilapia. A little tilapia to spread it out for the base. And Jacob, how, how long does it marinate? So it marinates overnight. So okay. we have it marinating in lime juice, and so we mix it all together with tomatoes, onions, and cilantro, and have it marinating overnight with the shrimp and the tilapia. Mm -hmm. And then we add the cucumbers and the avocado freshly on top, and then add a little bit more of the freshest squeezed lime juice on top mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is one of our fan favorites inside the Definitely. restaurant. Definitely. Oh, I know. Yeah. And people might be thinking, well, what do you eat You know, when you're at work? Do you eat all that stuff early in the morning? I will eat ceviche anytime. Yeah. 6 37 <laughs> that works just fine for me right it's perfect for the summer it's perfect for the winter it's perfect mm -hmm. for any day yeah and I want you to talk a little bit more about uh, what's going to be happening at the restaurant yeah so for day of the dead we're going to have dead. our staff actually their faces are going to be painted mm -hmm. all day so their faces are going to be painted and we're going to be having some dancers as well inside the restaurant specifically in our Stanford location and our Fairford location staff will be uh, dressed up for day of the dead and um, we'll have people that come in and perform and everything mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And what, how would people typically uh, celebrate? Yeah, so people typically celebrate this in many different ways. So either uh, families will come together and cook the, the deceased member's favorite dishes, mm -hmm. or they will also drink. Mm -hmm. Drinking is one of the best parts as well. So it's a uh, day that is not a day to be sad. It's a day to be happy. It's a day to right. celebrate life. A lot of people think about that and they associate it because of the, 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 the makeup. Exactly. And the, and the skulls, skulls and, the and everything like that. Right. But it's really a celebration. It's not something that people need to be afraid of. Exactly. 100%. Everybody comes together, celebrates this person, celebrates their life, and makes their favorite dishes. Mm -hmm. Alright. I'm going to try this, Luis. And I'm going to have the both of you. If you could, I would really like to to share with the viewers, have you share with the viewers some memories that you have yeah. of Day of the Dead celebrations with your families? Yeah, so my grandfather actually, uh, both my grandparents uh, have passed away, mm -hmm. but one of the big, one of their favorite things to cook was um, ceviche as well. So oh, that's why I just chose this perfect. plate because one of, oh, one of my great. grandfather's favorite plates, ah. and specifically in the Jalisco area where my grandparents are from, mm. seafood is very big there. So that's why mm -hmm. we chose the ceviche for tonight. This is delicious. What about you, Thank Luis? You. This is not my strong aside I'm from a different culture so, <laughs> but I always went to Mexican restaurants and kind of celebrated a little bit with my mm -hmm. friends and you know the skulls and everything was a little bit scary for me in the beginning but once you kind of right. get yourself into the culture it's pretty interesting it's uh, you know it's mm -hmm. different but it's nice. And people yeah. can uh, celebrate in varying degrees, oh, right? Maybe 100%. it's just a discussion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They talk about the people celebrate that we've all lost. over Latin America and here in the right, U.S. Right, and you know, right. like you said, even to get people talking about it, it's mm -hmm. great. Just good to bring up the memories of those that we've lost, those that we miss, those that we love. Exactly. All right, Jacob, Luis, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. And remind people that there was going to be dancing at the Stanford location. Yes. Correct. Dancing in the Stanford location. As part of the celebration. Thank right. you so much, Erica. Thanks, guys. Great to have you back in here. And this is, of course, delicious. I love Salute. Thank you.